So, there is some really exciting news. The brand new MacBook Pro is on its way with the M3 Pro processor inside it and it'll have an 18 core GPU and it's gonna launch next week. I want to share with you all the details about this and also give you the M3 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro release date and price too. So as we know now, the M2 journey is basically at an end. Most devices are expected to get an M2 to M2 Ultra have been all rolled out now. WWDC 2023 showed us Apple rolling out the last chipset, what was the M2 Ultra. It has also been over nine months since the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros got the M2 Pro and the M2 Max because they were delayed in getting this chipset as they were meant to get these around about November last year. These chipsets though, they've provided about a 20 to 30% more power than the M1 Pro and the M1 Max for CPU, GPU, and we also got about 40% faster for machine learning neural engine speeds too. Looking towards the next generation of the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, we've been told the design is not going to change, but the biggest change of all is going to be that new M3 Pro and that M3 Max chipset, and they're just around the corner. So, as this is probably the last video for the 14-inch MacBook Pro and M3 Pro inside it, I'm going to give you all the details of when the launch is going to happen, and also loads of details too for the actual M3 Pro chipset, as this is going to be the main upgrade. Don't get me wrong, you'll be able to pick either an M3 Pro with different type of configurations or even M3 Max inside the 14 inch MacBook Pro. But today, like I said, I'll be mainly focusing on the M3 performance of the M3 Pro inside a 14 inch MacBook Pro. However, one question that you guys are probably wanting to see is what kind of boost in performance are we going to see with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max? Well, the M1 Pro, M2 Pro, the M1 Max and the M2 Max has given us amazing performance already and the chipsets of these are made on 5 nanometer dies. But with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, we've been told that these chipsets are going to be made on a 3 nanometer die, as you can see here. This will mean that transistors and everything will be made even smaller, and in return, this means the chips will be even more efficient and give us better performance before adding additional cores or even ramping up the speed of those clock speeds of those cores. I will talk more about cores being assigned to the M3 Pro and the M3 Max in the spec sheet a bit later on. However, we can probably expect around about a 100% increase in power on the M3 Pro to the M1 Pro and also a 100% increase in power of the M3 Max to the M1 Max that only came out 18 months ago. When you think about this, this is incredible that when these chipsets are released, that this will just be over two years between them and we will have chipsets that are basically double the speed. So this is really exciting as the M2 chipsets over the M1 gave us around about 20 to 40% increases instead. This is also really exciting news and it means that most likely if you're still on an old Intel MacBook, definitely upgrading to an M3 Pro and M3 Max is definitely going to be worth it this time. Even if you actually have, say, just a normal M1 chipset and you're looking to step into that Pro territory, also the upgrade is going to be great for you too. However, I will also say at this point that not all leaks and reports are 100% proof they'll be coming true in the new MacBooks. As I've said in loads of other videos too, I can only present to you what I've been told and shown like what you've seen here today. However, if you are watching this video still, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what's going to be said about the new MacBooks anyway, no matter if they come true or not. So moving on to the actual release date. So the release date is literally around the corner or the actual launch event. We've had a report here or we've actually had from Apple themselves that the scary fast event is happening next week, October 30th, and it's going to be happening at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And it's really exciting because it looks like it's definitely going to be focused all about Macs. And we may also see the normal M3 Pro, MacBook Pro, and also an iMac 2, but definitely the 14 and 
16 inch MacBook Pros and we will get those upgrades to the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, what is really, really exciting indeed. The actual launch itself of when we'll be able to get our hands on it might be just on that Friday later on that week, so it's November the 4th, or it could be a week later after the event or so. So we're talking maybe about November the 8th or around about that sort of time. So it won't be long at all until you get your hands actually on these brand new devices. I quickly want to talk to you about the giveaway we're having on this channel right now, and it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky viewer around the time of end of December to early January time. So that week between Christmas and New Year, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway stream revealing who the winner is for this iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it's really easy to enter in. All you have to do is leave a comment in this video here or any other videos coming up in the future telling me of what tech you're planning to buy in the remainder of 2023 or maybe into 2024. If this is Apple gear, Samsung gear, whatever gear, I'd love to know. Put it down in the comments below. And also at the same time, if you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get some notification of when that is actually happening. Because to be honest, December is not that far away. And I will just quickly say, guys, sadly, there are still spammers and scammers out there. Some of them still impersonating myself, telling you to part with money for shipping and things like this. This is not me at all. I'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway so that means anyone can enter in in the world and I'll be paying for taxes and things like that too. So you don't need to worry about any of that at all. But if you do see any of these scammers or anything, please do report them as you can see right here. So next of all, let's now talk about the actual price and let's also talk about the specs that we're expected to see in the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So the main thing to probably take away for design is not much is going to be changing here. The design language that we've had since the MacBook Pro 14 inch, what came with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max isn't really going to change at all. There might be some slight little tweaks to the design, but nothing major. But that basically means then we will still be getting that 14 inch XDR liquid retina mini LED display with a resolution of 3024 by 1964 and of course this is still going to remain as a ProMotion 120 hertz display. The actual storage options are probably most likely going to stay as well so this will be starting at 512 gigabytes most likely for your M3 Pro and M3 Max going all the way up to 8 terabytes of an SSD. For the actual chipsets we will be getting that M3 Pro and the Max and this will either be a 12 or 14 core CPU depending on which chipset you pick if you get the bin version or not and then also this will start from a 19 core m3 pro uh, for the gpu and this would be the bin version going all the way up to the maximum 44 core gpu in the fully maxed out m3 max chipset for actual ram you'll be able to pick between 16 gigabytes all the way up to 96 gigabytes of ram and that will be in the m3 max to so pick that option the body will be made out of aluminum or aluminium and then the ports you will still get the MagSafe, the three USB-C, Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI 2.1 and of course that SD card slot too. The centre stage camera is probably not going to change much, it will still be a 1080p camera and battery life is most likely going to be up to around about 18 hours on this device. And again the price based on this new device is that we're getting yourself a 12 core CPU and a 19 core G. GPU, the bin version, and 16 gigabytes of RAM, and also the box standard 512 gigabytes of storage. This will come in at the same price at 1,999 US dollars. And there we have it guys, so the new 14 inch MacBook Pro coming out less than a year later than the last model is really really exciting news to hear. We've got a 3 nanometer chipset and then also the upgrades in performance. It's going to be a really really great year ahead for the M3 Pro and the M3 Max and also they're going to feature in both of this 14 and 16 inch model. But also on that note as well guys, it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button and also if you want to 
to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.